Hi, so I'm building a custom 3D printer. I have the aluminum, the V, V slot aluminum profiles, and uh, I want to connect them with these cubes because they they are very easy to center like this. First time I tried with this these connectors that go like this, but it's quite hard to make them square. So I upgraded, I moved to this. These are great. But for these, you require, you have to put a tap in here. These are European profiles and this hole is five millimeters. Let me show you. It's actually four millimeters and a bit. You can use a five millimeter tap, uh, an M5 tap, like this. There, M5, see? There. Uh, make sure it's one that has this pointed tip. So when you put it in here, it kind of self centers. Okay, so you have to buy this tab, also buy this, this support, basically you can rotate this and fixate the tap in here. I tried first time with some pliers, but the result is very bad, so I do not recommend. You will ruin the profiles. If you just try it like this, you will ruin your profiles and those are quite expensive. I will put a link in the description for a tap like this. It's like $5. So it's, if you want to do this, I highly recommend to buy one. You take the tap. First, first turns. You should go slow, so you, you go at uh, 90 degrees. Okay, make sure it's perpendicular. It usually self-centers, so it's not a problem if you have this one pointed. You can use uh, something like this, but I do not recommend. I tried with that and it doesn't go so straight. And like I said, you can ruin the profiles. It's gonna be take a bit more, but it's like 20 profiles, so it's not gonna take forever. So you push spin it slowly you can go back a bit so the dust can go out when it starts to go hard because of this shape conical in the tip it kind of auto auto centers when you put it you should try to keep it as perpendicular as you can but don't worry too much okay so now we start to Go slow. The first few turns, uh, okay. See, it went not so straight. Okay, so after I went a few times, it got perpendicular. 
after it bites a bit in the aluminum profile you start to go backwards and forward like this until you don't feel it binding if you feel it binding you go back and forth So see now if I go more, it's hard to push it so I won't go. I'll move it a bit forward and a bit back. I can go a bit further and a bit back. Whatever you do when you try to go in one direction and you feel uh, it's putting too much pressure, you don't go, don't push it. just go like this a bit forward back and when you do this and knock a bit on the profile you'll hear the five the pieces of aluminum falling down could uh, use a clamp and fix it to some to a pole but I prefer to do it manually because you can feel uh, the amount of tension in this hand holding so you cannot overdo it see here it's hard to push it and I can feel it in this hand it starts to hurt a bit so push it the other way a bit more backwards and now you can hear filings falling down okay so I'm about done now I'll start backing up I think it goes easy now if it starts binding when you back up just in case you went a bit too much too fast you, you push it back back like counter uh, clockwise and then counter clockwise no matter what you do when it starts to bind don't go in that direction go in the other direction okay so the last bit what I do I hold the uh, tap with my hands like this and I let gravity there you see the these channels must be completely clean when you take it out then tap a bit so you refine if there's anything traveling here goes down okay and let me show you with the screw so the screw should not go in just screw in let me show you a bad one first so you can understand easily see on this one maybe the other side is worse yeah see just goes in it only has like a few threads left let me see if I can zoom a bit only a few threads are left it just goes in because the hole became too much it 
basically what happened on this one when this when this channels get full with filings when you put some force on it they will just uh, round the whole the hole and remove your thread because aluminium is very soft Okay, so now let's take the new one. Let me see if I can show the threads. Okay, so on this one it doesn't go in. Screws fine all the way. So this is like a perfect tap. Grips till the last. Till the last thread, it holds. Yeah.